Welcome to Art and Stuff. I'm your host, Tamara. And if you live in the East Coast, like me, then you have probably been hit by a massive snowstorm. I'm not exactly sure how to feel about having snowstorms in the middle of March. Are the seasons shifting? Is it going to be like this forever? Is this real life? If I thought we were having crazy weather before, I'm now sure of it. On the bright side, it's now officially the perfect light conversation starter. Crazy weather we're having, am I right? I don't really have much to say today, because I usually write scripts about one subject during the weekend, but I didn't really have much time this weekend to edit, and I kind of just bunded and watched Netflix all day yesterday. I did draw a lot yesterday, but I didn't record any of it. Whoopsie! So now I'm going to talk about a few um, given topics. If you want me to talk about a certain subject I mentioned today, let me know. Does shading make your art better? It does for me. That's not to say that shading will make terrible line art better. It can cover it, but it might not, but it might enhance your artwork in an unsatisfactory way. My suggestion is to practice shading on s objects like circles, cubes, and other shapes, and learn about lighting as well. You can save your piece if you understand basic lighting. If you are a middle schooler, then I'm sure you've had at least one lesson on shading. If not, ask your teacher about shading and its benefits. So I watched the season premiere of Samurai Jack, and wow, Grey Delisle. Man, I, I think adding her to anything automatically makes everything about what you're watching objectively better. If you don't know her, I'm pretty certain you've heard of her voice. She's a voice actor who has played characters like Catwoman from the Batman Arkham series, Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender, Daphne from the most recent Scooby-Doo Incorporated, Frankie from Foster Homes for Imaginary Friends, Mandy from Billy and Mandy, a ton of villains, background characters, video game characters, and a butt-ton of newscasters. In Samurai Jack, she plays a cult leader who births seven daughters and raises them for the sole purpose of killing Jack. She is definitely giving off of Azula vibes in her performance. Interesting fact, in the book called The Art of the Avatar, Azula was originally going to have an entourage of trained female ninjas at her command instead of her two friends Mei and Tai Lee. I can neither confirm nor deny this, but I'm pretty sure Genny Tartakovsky read this book, hired Grey, made her the leader, and said the trained female ninja assassins was his idea. In other news, Trump's tax returns was released from 2005. Now, hopefully, if you have an inkling of political savvy, you are aware this is a distraction from the fact that the Trump administration has already started sending troops to Syria, which I don't know if it's a good idea. Only time will tell. It's weird because under Republican-controlled Obama era, they were dead set on cutting the military budget worrying about the unnecessary military spending and making sure that we stayed away from the Middle East. And Fox sure had no problem blaming everything that went wrong in the Middle East on Obama. Then within a month of Trump's presidency, the Republican-controlled Senate suddenly has no problem throwing away $54 billion into the military and sending troops into Syria. I know politics are cutthroat, but damn, this political maneuvering for power has cost the lives of millions of civilians overseas. This isn't to say Obama is blameless. He didn't have the political chops or backbone to fight against this sort of maneuvering. Instead, he made an effort to please people that wanted nothing more than to see him fail. And I'm done ranting for today, hopefully. And here is my finished drawing. What you see is what you get today. 
So let's see what happens in this new reality show called America. I'm Tamara, and this was Art and Stuff.